This is where the epicenter of the quake happened. You can also see the dozens of uh, of aftershocks that have happened uh, just uh, in the last uh, 24 hours or so, and this is very significant. And I also want to talk to you about why this area is so susceptible. Why do they get so many large quakes? Well, they've had four large quakes in the last 40 years, and they've killed almost 150,000 people. So they don't happen very often, but when they do, they tend to be quite strong. And there's a lot of things that kind of play into this. I kind of want to go over uh, some of that stuff. The first thing is plate tectonics. We have the big Eurasian plate here to the north, the Indian plate to the south. The Indian plate is pushing up against the Eurasian plate and it moves about 50 millimeters every single year and that's quite a bit when you're talking about plate tectonics so this violet movement has created these huge mountains here the Himalayas of course Mount Everest we've all heard about this the Tibetan Plateau but this epicenter is what some almost 2,000 kilometers away why all the way over here well you still have some of the effects of that in, in here but you also have a large fault line that moves through this area and that has been the main culprit in this region this is only about um, maybe 50 kilometers away from that deadly 2008 quake happened that killed almost 100,000 people, remember? People are still reeling from that. Well, uh, the fault line that goes through here is the one responsible, mainly responsible for these large quakes. You have the Sichuan Basin, very flat terrain here, and then all of a sudden, very jagged peaks that move up. That's why we had so many landslides when this quake actually happened. And you can see the difference right over here, right along that fault line. That's where we had this very large earthquake.